Me, Frida, by Amy Noveski, illustrated by David Diaz. To Frida, the city I love, and my querido, and D. On the warm cobblestone streets of Coyacan, everyone knew her name, Frida Kahlo. Frida lived in the blue house with her new husband, the famous artist Diego Rivera. Frida was an artist too. The night the telegram arrived inviting Diego to San Francisco, Frida dreamed of a city far from her home in Mexico, and she painted a portrait of herself there. Then she packed her blue trunk, and she and Diego flew north. Frida had never left Mexico before. Soon, they were standing in the very city she painted. Diego, big as an elephant. Frida, a lovely little bird on his arm. They lived at 716 Montgomery Street in the artist's quarter. Beneath a leaky glass roof and dangling globes of light, they drank cafe con leche and ate sliced oranges. Outside, the world was cool and gray. Frida felt very far away from home. Diego was working on a mural for the city. While he sketched, Frida was restless. She strummed the guitar. She sang Mexican folk songs called Corridos. Quiet, querida, cooed Diego. He loved his beloved singing, but there was work to be done. Before Diego began painting, he wanted to study his subject. Frida followed him as he explored the city. They climbed up and down its many steep hills. They gazed up at its shiny skyscrapers. Diego thought they were great, like ancient ruins. Frida disagreed. They explored orchards and oil derricks, a gold mine and redwood groves. They stood beneath the towering trees. Diego felt empowered by everything he saw. Frida fell asleep on the way home. And then, with a team of assistants, Diego went to work painting entire city walls. Some nights he didn't come home at all. Other nights, Mr. and Mrs. Diego Rivera attended parties. The city's elite celebrated Diego. Frida stood quietly at his side. No one even looked at her. On the long days without Diego, Frida felt lost. She was in a foreign city. She didn't speak much English, and she didn't have many friends. So Frida started exploring the city on her own. She wandered through narrow street markets. She touched pretty birds in tiny, ornate cages and searched in little shops for silk to make skirts. She admired moon-faced babies. Frida especially loved Chinatown. It smelled of incense, fish, and fog. Soon Frida felt bolder and rode on a streetcar. She took a ferry across the Golden Gate and walked in the green headlands high above the ocean. From there, she could see the entire glittering city and all it held, including Diego. It was small enough to fit on the wing of a bird. For once, Frida felt larger than life. Me, Frida. She felt like she could fly. Frida went back to Montgomery Street and painted. She knew she was an artist too. While Diego painted his monumental murals about town, Frida painted small portraits at her home. The local press called Frida's portraits passable or good enough. Good enough was not good enough for Frida. She wanted to be great. One night at yet another party, all eyes were on the great Mexican painter, Diego Rivera. Frida stood quietly at his side, but she could hardly contain herself. She thought the Americans' faces resembled dough. She missed Mexico. and She was tired of being quiet. Suddenly, Frida began to sing, not just any songs, but the Mexican folk song she sang to Diego while he worked. All eyes were on her, including Diego's. Huzzah, he shouted at the end of each verse. He always knew Frida was marvelous. That night, Frida painted something great, a colorful wedding portrait of herself and Diego. She painted Diego big and she painted herself small, just as the world saw them. But Frida knew she was more than this, and she put herself first. In the beak of a pink bird, she wrote a tiny note on violet ribbon. 
Here you see us, me, Frida Kahlo, with my adored husband, Diego Rivera. I painted these portraits in the beautiful city of San Francisco, California, in April of 1931. Frida's painting, Frida and Diego Rivera, was featured in the sixth annual exhibition of the San Francisco Society of Women Artists. It was her first show. Adorned in her best dress and necklaces of ancient jade, her jet black hair braided, Frida walked proudly through the crowd. When people saw her, they stopped and stared at her in wonder. Now here we have the author's note. Frida Kahlo wasn't a famous artist when she met and married her mentor, the great Mexican painter Diego Rivera. Frida adored Diego, and to Diego, Frida was tiny and bright like starlight. She was devilishly brilliant and believed in herself, but she was young and still finding her own unique style. Frida's move to San Francisco in November 1930 was the first time she traveled out of Mexico. The city of San Francisco inspired Frida and her art. While she was living there, her style moved from broad and mural-like, similar to Diego's, to more intimate and folkloric. Perhaps Frida's distance from her beloved home ignited her pride and her passion for where she came from. Frida and Diego Rivera, Frida sometimes spelled her name with that E, in honor of her German heritage, was the first painting Frida created in the style for which she would become famous. It is one of her most loved paintings. The end.